What's going on everyone? I am here with Chris via FaceTime. Plug in his video right here. We've received a special beverage from Cannery Brewing in uh, Penticton. This is their artisan collection, Kindling Breakfast Stout. We first saw this beer on Instagram and instantly knew that we had to have it. Cannery was so gracious to send us a little uh, package. Dying to try it. So Chris, how do we open this sucker? <laughs> That's always the challenge. How do you get the wax cap off of your aged or supposedly aged beer bottles, but we're, we're not gonna age these ones, we're gonna drink them right now. Here's, here's what I do. I take, yeah, well you got some scissors. I'm looking at Kyle down below. Kyle's got scissors, I got a knife. Here's how I do it. I just get in till I can feel the bottle and then I keep going. Now they say you're supposed to put this under hot water that kind of makes sense. Dude, that smells on freaking real. That smells amazing. Oh, <laughs> it smells, it, honestly, the coffee flavor is strong, but it's so amazing. I just officially opened a bottle of beer with a pair of scissors. <laughs> nice, I used a knife. Oh, dude, that smell. Right out of the bottle. That thick, dark syrup. It looks bloody amazing. That's like a thick, jelly-like head. I just get a lot of like really wicked coffee, that uh, really delicate uh, burnt brown sugar, caramel, roasty, malt feel. You could, you could eat the foam, the head, with a spoon. That was like frothy goodness right there. Oh, ho, ho. I ate it with a spoon. Ready? Cheers. Cheers, brother. Oh. Creamy mouthfeel. Just big, big coffee, big chocolate. That's, 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 that's really good, really good. Wow, that is something else. What I like about this is it's equivalent to probably some of the best lattes I've ever had, combined with a really beautiful imperial stout sweetness. I just think that the balance on this beer is incredible. Honestly think that this is absolutely perfect. They nailed this dead on. And the beautiful thing about this is the coffee beans were sourced locally here in the Okanagan, place uh, Red Beard Cafe out of Kamloops. And also the artwork of the bottle was done by a artist out of Penticton as well. So this entire series was sourced locally by local artists. This, oh my goodness, the flavors in this, I am thoroughly impressed. It's so light and creamy in your mouth, yet you have that rich, rich, like burnt malt flavor, the chocolate, the coffee without that harsh bitterness, but then you have hoppy bitterness in it to it as well. It is just glorious. The, you know what it is? It, it's almost like a milkshake in a glass without the ice cream and a little bit of coffee. My favorite thing, obviously you guys know I'm an ABV freak. I love a big beer, but I love the fact that this beer, the mouthfeel alone is so thick and creamy. It just lends that beautiful backbone and alcohol, and then that mouthfeel falls like right in between, which makes it absolutely perfect. Honestly, like it's, it's I can't say enough about this beer. And not just because they sent it to us. Uh, I mean, if I didn't like it, I'd tell you. That I really would, but I love it. It's incredible to know that this is an 8% beer, but you can't tell. I mean, it starts to really warm you up. It's nice and warm, but it doesn't have that like, in your face, strong ABV beer. No, you're right. The alcohol is really subdued. But I think it's because that the malt profile is just, it's bang on and it really, it's strong and rich and it, and it kind of adds to the ABV, which I like, I like that. That's what I want in an Imperial Stout. And a breakfast stout is one that you should be able to, to, to have and you know be able to be so easy drinking that it's you can you can really like literally have it for breakfast that's why they make it bacon eggs and a breakfast stout would just oh mm. 
Because it's such an epic collaboration between artists, between brewers, between even people who roast coffee locally, we would like to call this kind of like the Mona Lisa of beers from the Okanagan because it is a true masterpiece. And all the furthermore, for them to love their beer so much and to want to show it off so much to send us both a bottle, we're very appreciative and we thank you so much Canary Brewing Company. We are so excited to try more of your beers and yeah, this was for you. Cheers. Thank you and cheers.